Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check this out, man. The technology that I hold in my little hands here is pretty awesome because this stuff cost me a fortune. And I'm talking like close to two grand back in the 90s when I bought my first one. This is an oscilloscope. But wait, there's more. It's an oscilloscope. It's also a multimeter. And it apparently is also a waveform generator, although I have no idea how I would go about using that feature on this. I am a big fan of multimeters and occasionally find myself in need of an oscilloscope. This little teeny doodad here apparently does it all. And these have become quite popular. I'm really excited to play with this thing. Um, brand of that is Go, Gochi Fix, Gochi Fix. Not sure how to pronounce that exactly, but hopefully I got it close. Comes in a nice little protective case here. Pull it out. Button. There we go. And two first appearances. It looks like a simple multimeter, and that's that's what I am just shocked by the, the quality or like the, the the technology. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's nothing, and that is just amazing to me. It looks like a multimeter, and nothing more. And it's the fact that they've been able to get an oscilloscope and shrink it down into something this size is truly impressive. Case-wise, it's got rubberized coating on it. You can probably drop it a few times without issue, so it does look like it's set up for, you know, mostly automotive type use. I certainly am going to be using it uh, if the need ever arises for automotive stuff. Got a little latch here on the back so we can set it up. Very nice. We're doing our work. And that actually is kind of convenient. I like uh, my, my multimeter. I have a Fluke multimeter. It does the same thing, and I, I'm really digging that. Uh, let's see here. Up on top. Yep, that come off? I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's just molded in there for looks. Um, face, we have a nice little screen here. I'd say it's about two inches by two inches, give or take. And then we do have our different way of changing this up. And so you can see, okay, wow. All right, wow, and it lights up too. I'll go through this with you. Hopefully we can go through it together. So off on both sides, um, volts, we have voltage DC. Voltage AC, resistance, so measuring ohms, capacitance test, that's really nice, hertz, frequency, current, amperage, DC amps, DC milliamps, DC amps again, oh, that's auto ranging, and then back to off. Of course, then we have some other function buttons and some other stuff there. So we have 10 amp fused uh, ohms. So if we want to do voltage or ohm checking, you're going to use these two ports. If you want to do uh, an amperage test up to 10 amps, you're going to go between those two. And then we have milliamps for testing as well. So for like precision stuff there. It's rechargeable and it comes with a USB-C cable here. And then our probes get them out of the package. There we go. Wow, those are actually really nice. Uh, let's see how much length we got here. Okay, so good good list. I'd say two and a half, maybe, yeah, about two and a half feet, maybe three at most. Nice probes there, and they're uh, pin probes with a removable cap, so that's really nice. So we got our precision and, and less precision, well, automotive, I would say, and then if you're going to do back probing, that kind of stuff, you got their finer tips. Nice. All right, let's take a look. I'll, I'll turn it on right now. Just so y'all can see it there. And I'll go through some of the manuals. It's got a simple operation manual. And then it's got a much more complex one. Oscilloscope operation. Press auto for two seconds to enter oscilloscope mode. Automatic waveform capture occurs. F2 to adjust the time base. F2 to adjust the time base for the second. And then F1 to exit. We have F2 key up and down, which is our vertical range, how many volts range. Or so we have time and range. Then we have trigger select. Nice. Okay. Signal source. F1 is wave. F2 is frequency. F3 is duty cycle. F4 is voltage. And auto. Select auto. Pretty much leave it on auto, I would say. It does have a replaceable fuse if you go past that 10 amps and pop something. Storage and readout of data. You can hit save to hold the current data. Save again and hold for two seconds to enter the database. Select. Oh, wow. So there's a database built in here. Now, this is all, um, put 
that on the screen there for a second so you all can see what I'm talking about. And that's just kind of the getting to know you section. The, the bigger stuff here in the user's manual, which is... It uh, looks like uh, eight pages in English. Oh, no. Whoa. Wow. Okay, 35 pages all in English. Crazy. Oh, wow. Really neat. So, uh, voltage-wise, I'm your guy. Amperage-wise, I'm your guy. I do a lot of that stuff automotive-wise. I thought about, like, what could I do with the oscilloscope portion here to show it off. And I came to the conclusion that I don't know that I have to do that with you. I'd say if you're interested in purchasing an oscilloscope, you're probably the kind of person that already knows what an oscilloscope does and how to use one. Certainly, uh, if the time arises in my life where I'm suddenly finding myself in a section of my life where I need to do some back probing and figure out like a cam sensor, crank sensor, something like that, I'd be happy to make a follow-up video on the automotive channel and show that to you. Although most of my viewers here will use this for something radio related. Now the fact that it can uh, you know, produce a frequency waveform generator and also do probing and stuff like that with this, you could probably use this for radios a whole lot more than most people would use it for automotive use. But my specialty when it comes to multimeters and scopes and stuff like that is automotive. I have no idea how to scope out a radio to make sure that it's working properly or not properly. What I can show you though is we do have our you know ohm meter here and of course we have you know when we ground it out we're wide open and we're closed. My body should produce something. Yeah there we go. We get a little bit. Yeah it started to. If I stabbed myself a little harder it came back there for a second but you can see we started to have some there. Short it out again you can see that. A battery. I probably can get a battery here so I've got a 9 volt battery here. I'm not sure how well charged it is, but we'll move over to voltage DC and hopefully you can see that. And we will hit uh, negative and positive. Yeah. Oops. Oh, I'm in millivolts. That's probably bad for its health. There we go. No. Yeah, there we go. Voltage DC. And let's hook it up again. We'll see what we got here. And there we go, 9.58 volts. So a pretty much fully charged battery right there. That's kind of cool. Amazon Basics comes through again. Like I said, if you wanted to measure amperage, you would switch this over to here. And now you would put it in line with a circuit. So something to something. And then the voltage goes through that. So you're measuring through this back to the circuit to determine whether or not how much the amperage that unit is drawing. In the automotive industry, we use that extensively for figuring out if something has what we call a key off draw. So this tool would be awesome for that. So pretty darn cool. Uh, clearly, this is a tool that if you know what you're looking for, it would be something you would probably be interested in. I've never seen one as cheap as I have seen this thing go on. You know, we had well, I had a fluke. I think it was an 88, and holy cow, like I said, about two grand. Ran off of six C batteries or D batteries, and I finally it ended up finally dying because the C batteries got in there and corroded, killed the main circuit board, which was brutally painful uh, when I realized I had ruined two thousand dollars worth of equipment over some old batteries. I replaced that with a Pico scope, and that has been a great tool over the years. And then I replaced it with the OTC oscilloscope module for my OTC Genesis. Sold the Genesis and the scope, and I haven't had any scopes, although I don't do as much automotive work on the modern cars as they used to. Scopes are still almost a necessity when it comes to working on electrical issues on modern cars, getting into the CAN bus, seeing the network, all that stuff. And so a tool like this is definitely something you need to have if you're working on cars and you're an ATEC. The other half of it is the fact that this thing is so small and so like it is a multimeter and it does all that other stuff. It seems silly for the cost of this not to get something like this instead of just getting a plain old multimeter. I am digging the future when it comes to this stuff. There's no doubt about that. Well, I guess that'll do it. I'll leave a link to where you can pick up one of these things and uh, there'll definitely be a follow-up video on the automotive channel when I finally come across a car that needs to be scoped out. Till next time, my friends, take care.